Hi Planet Folk, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, sometimes it's nice to take a trip down memory lane and go back to the simplicities that were Painter One. Uh, and we're going to be able to do that with the latest launch of Out of Office. Now, it's an international lager. Estelle and I haven't had much luck with lagers or pilsners or any of those things, but we're going to give this a go. But firstly, I want to thank everybody. We've got to over a thousand subscribers, so please like and subscribe. Estelle has asked me to ask you that, but you probably all do it anyway. But please like and subscribe, and you'll be able to see all the other wonderful videos that Estelle and I have done together over the last few months. Now, uh, shall we read, this, this, read this together? Yeah, we're going to give this the best effort because it's supposed to be a sunshine golden lager, crisp with lightly spiced. Czech Saz Hops and balanced with smooth British malt. Don't you love the greater good? Inspired by everywhere for everyone. What a load of waffle. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully though we're gonna give it we're gonna give it as much of a chance as possible because I think with a lot of these things patience is key, so we're gonna give it the full Monty here. So uh, extra day, so up to ten days in total brewing. We're going to set it in cosy corner, and because it's a painter one, I won't need an eye spindle or a pressure gauge or any of that stuff. Put it in cosy corner, 10 days, we'll do a two day cold crash, and then up to 15 days. So, I wonder what it would be like if you did put the eye spindle in. No, I mean, well, the eye spindle is currently being used. Yeah, no, but I mean, another time. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. But, I mean, guys, uh, big, sh we'll do a. Uh, Fast at 50 shout out, our first one ever, to poor Jamie Naylor, who, God bless him, brewed in a pint or two, on setting two, uh, which is perfectly within what the really good instructions are. Brewed it, put it in his fridge, and it exploded. Uh, blew the door open, put 10 pints of beer all over his fridge and his kitchen, and if I did that, honey, would you be, would you be happy? I think I would be a little bit upset. A little bit upset, yes. So, big shout out to Jamie. May it, God bless and her. his wife. And at least partner, yes. Yeah, if you have partner. Him, yes. <laughs> he probably doesn't have a partner now. Right? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, guys, every, every one of the painter twos is slightly different, I think. All mine are actually roughly about the same and they do store too much pressure. So therefore, I brew at one. Make your own decisions. Do your own research. But please... Uh, my advice is go to Stuart at Asset Solution, get an ice spindle. It's already calibrated. There's a discount down below. Check the description. Uh, and as well, make one of my gauges. They're 12 quid off uh, Amazon. And I would have said to, to Jamie, Jamie, what would you rather have? Spend 12 quid and get a gauge or blow your kitchen door off. What would you choose? It's nice to know what's going on. So with ice spindle, you know when it stalls, you know if there's too much pressure, you'll be able to see it on the gauge. My recommendation, guys. And if you like if you like and subscribe, you can look back at how to make yeah. one of those gauges. The gauges are easy. The gauges are easy. Um all you need is a hot oil bottle and then some PTFE tape, plumber's tape. And, and a screw it. drill. And a drill. Yes, and of course a drill. So yes, it's nice to get back. So as usual. We've got some room temperature water. We've got the yeast and a little tiny bit of uh, brewer's sugar just to start the yeast off. They've been settling in there just when I've done the very simple task of sanitizing a P1, which is a blessing because a P2 takes forever. So this is all sanitized. The cup sanitized, the fork, everything I'm touching has been sanitized, the jug, the whole lot. So some of our viewers have asked, you know, can you go straight from brew to brew. No, please sanitize. Any opportunity you get, sanitize. Also, if you're using a Painter One, silicone grade, oh, food grade silicone, even get it the right way around, Eddie. All of the contact points and your Painter One will last you. They're actually, I sort of, what do you prefer, honey? I sort of prefer Painter One. Yeah, I think I think you've fallen out of love with Pinder no, 2. Pinder because... 2 has its advantages. I mean, yes, if the tap works correctly, you get to draw the beer straight out of the fridge. You don't need to let the pressure... Yeah, that's in. probably the main thing, it isn't is it? You don't have to fiddle with the... 
I'm not too Just sure of the actual hot boy thing, so it's a big marvellous idea. Yeah. I think, again, a lot, guys, you'll see, a lot of the presses, we are recommended to keep them in the fridge. Totally agree, because obviously you don't want them going off, but it tends to be, with a lot of them, if when you keep them in the fridge, a lot of the sugar crystallises out, and it's hard to get it out of this, because just make sure that all the content are dissolved. You want the desired result in your painter, not stuck in the side of your brown press bottle. That's better. So that's going to go in. I'm going to take into account that we've used a I bit was going to say you haven't stirred, but you, you're Candle still... Now. So, yeah, that's I'll peek in, make sure that all the contents the, are out. The muddy silt water is still in the jug. Yeah, I mean this one, because it's a lager, it's, it's nowhere near as thick as the likes of, I mean, Big Dip is probably the worst. Yeah. Big Dip. I mean, it's really, really thick and the sugar is really, really decrystallizing it in the bottle and it's an absolute nightmare to get out. Mm. But this is a lager, so... Not just as difficult. So that's gone in. We're going to give our little friends one last stir. The beasties. The wee yeasties. Do your work, guys. There you go. All in there. Now they do provide a lot of yeast, so you don't need to rinse it out really or anything like that because there's more. Once they get multiplied, there's, there's more than enough, more than enough yeast in it. So. Get this. The last of this in. That's that. And we leave a bit of this out because we rinsed the press. That'll do. Doesn't need to be exact. A little bit here, there. Not make any difference. It's just tap water in a bottle, room temperature. Nothing fancy. And all goes to it. To the right place. Again, this is much easier than it is with a pint or two. Pint or two with all the press. And so heavy. Ten isn't liters it? of water in it. it. Really does weigh. Whereas with pint one, you pre mix it anyway, but you can give it a really, really good shake just to make sure all the ingredients are good. Line it up, press it down, one finger. That's the silicone grease doing that. One finger. And then, that is you. Good to go. So in this particular one, with the miracles of modern technology, we will have fast forward 25 days. <laughs> Hopefully it's a bit sunny around seven when we see you. We'll give you a review of Out of Office and uh, you can give us your feedback. Thanks for watching. Hi Pound Folk, welcome back. It's been quite a while. Things have changed so much since we put Out of Office on. So any reference that I've made, we used to be called uh, Fast at 50. We're no longer that. You will know us as Annie Du Brews with Annie and the wonderful Estelle. And Painter 1 seems to be back being flavour of the month because Painter 2, there's a few issues with, as we all know. Uh, we're still brewing away with it happily, and there's other videos on what we're doing on that on different dates. So please check through, like and subscribe, all that good stuff, and you'll be able to find all our videos on how we're coping with the Painter 2 issues. But back to Painter 1, and it just so happens that we're going to taste out of office now. It's been on brewing for 10 and actually conditioning for 15. Didn't do a cold crash because it wasn't cold enough outside in the shed. And Von Tapp is also ready at the same time. So Estelle and I are going to give you our honest opinions <coughs> of both. Double treat, see, free. Where would you get it? Let's have a look. This is, oh, no, we haven't done much. Sorry, I zoned out there. What's the first one you're trying? <laughs> yeah, I zoned out. <laughs> you, you finding me boring, darling. <laughs> So this is out of office. Oh, out of office in Bontap, yes. sorry. And this is the uh, lager inspired by everywhere for everybody or some nonsense like that. Now we haven't had much luck with lagers, honey, shall we? Oh no, is this going to be another disaster that I'm going to have? But it's supposed to be, that looks very nice. It's a little bit on the hazy side. Mm, but look at the bubbles, it's very yes. fizzy. 
But we, uh, do you remember House of Horrors? Hi. Yes, I know that's what I mean. We're going to have to go through that, that again, are we? we? No, I hope not. I hope not. I have a bit of a cold, guys. You might. We pick both, it up my yeah, voice. we both have colds. Mm. So luckily, we can't not, give you our cold to the screen. Not, it's not that they're COVID, so. So this. Have a sip, honey. What? I know. I'm not going to. I want to wait for. Ready? I want to wait for you because. Okay. I want to get your opinion because last time I liked it and then you went, isn't that even nice? I uh, know that was, that House of Hops was Right, we'll give it a go. Fun. It was like, it was horrible taste coming off it. But, so that's the second glass out. Mm. Well, it looks very nice. Looks very golden and crispy. Give it a go. I like uh, it, but I always hope, like Let's it. hope, because I'd like, we're going to watch the football. It's a Sunday, we're going to. nice. I like it. Yeah, it's quite, um, like, not fruity, but very light. That's quite easy. Like yeah, it's a, it's a nice, light, mm -hmm. crispy meal. We had our little Yo. nephews over this weekend, Leon and Teddy. Let's give them a, of a glass. I, we'll told, I told Leon and Teddy we'd give them a special mention. Oh, big shout out to my nephews who came instead with us. And their way home. Yeah. So now we can relax. I didn't mean ale, obviously. I didn't mean Yeah, lovely. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily want to have to wait 25 days for it to get to that. There's probably other stuff that you would uh, go for. It. Let's just do, oh, let's pour these in the in the nice glasses, eh, honey? Let's just get these out and see what Von Tapp is like. And funnily enough, I'm just the camera, but funnily enough, uh, Von Tapp is also a lager. It's a Viennese lager, but um, it's not going to be anything like that. What are the differences? It's, it's a darker, it's darker. It's a bit, oh, what was it? Uh, remember West and Wayne, hmm? It was dark, it was supposed to be a lager. But, mm -hmm. oh, I forgot, I don't need to pull up. <laughs> One pint or two cents. Yeah, definitely darker in colour, more of a caramel. Sorry, I should have here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, see? Mm -hmm. Just pour one, just caramel pour one. Features. Just have a taste of it. Right. So, yeah, still a bit hazy that one, well, and there's a few bits of, sunlight. a few bits of yeasties floating about in it. Yeah. But, it looks all right. Mm, definitely, yeah, you can smell more of a caramel off that. See what you think. Smell it? Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm. Mm, that's quite different. It's nice. On top's nice, is it? Yeah. So look, this was done on a six days brewing, ten days conditioning. Again, no cold crash because of the weather ramming, but. I mean, it looks perfectly drinkable. <clears throat> yeah, oh, a bit more depth to that one. That's a bit mm -hmm. more, I think it's sort of, sort of nothingness off it, slightly. Did you get that? Not nothingness, no. Um, I just can't put my finger on it. It's a bit of... A little bit fruity, no? No, not fruity. Mm. But yeah, so. That's another word. <laughs> again, folks, perfectly nice, perfectly nice beer that. But you can see the difference in colour of them. They're quite yeah, I mean, technically they're both, technically those are both lagers. Obviously, in the Very UK nice. here, we'd be much more accustomed to this sort of thing being a lager mm -hmm. as opposed to this, but it's no, perfectly nice. So, guys, thanks for joining us. Um, that's those both taste tested. Uh, stick with us, there'll be plenty more coming on the channel. And uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks. Like and subscribe.